If you want to play online games, especially games like Valorant, you're going to need a good internet connection. Otherwise, you're going to run into what your game will call network problems. My name is Yudullah, you're watching Candidor Technology and in this video, we're going to fix these network problems. So if you're getting Valorant network problems, there is a 100% chance that there is something wrong with your network. Now, the best solution to this is to take an Ethernet cable, plug one end in your router and plug the other in your laptop or your desktop or your Xbox or your PlayStation or whatever device you're using to play Valorant. An Ethernet connection is always better than a Wi-Fi connection. It's more stable, it has less latency, it provides faster upload and download speeds, and it just lets you use your internet bandwidth in a way that Wi-Fi just doesn't allow. And especially if you're playing games, you should really, really be using Ethernet connections. So the next thing that we're going to do is make a few in-game changes just to make sure that your uh, game runs fine. So. Let's head over to settings and uh, now in here what you're going to do is try limiting your FPS first. I know it sounds weird but limiting your FPS can sometimes cap the game's performance just so you know your network has the time to catch up. Uh, now as you can see I have disabled all of these limits but what you have to do simply is just click yes yeah on 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 and uh, make sure these values are set to like 30 or 60 or whatever your display refresh rate is however you want to use it. You don't necessarily have to cap your refresh rate uh, or limit your refresh rate to an obnoxious 30, 40 hertz. You can limit it to 120, 140, 100, even 90, whatever works for you. But try capping it. This sometimes helps provide a frame or a buffer overflow that can cause latency in your game. The next thing that we're going to do is uh, change video settings. Now, video settings you will find under, of course, video and then graphics quality. And uh, just switch these to low or medium, depending on the PC that you have. Of course, if you have a well spec PC, this is irrelevant because it can handle Valorant quite easily. But uh, if you have a PC that's uh, like three or four years older and Valorant doesn't really perform the best on it, just switch these settings to uh, medium or low, whatever gives you the maximum frame rate because that will also help uh, easing the load on your connection. Another thing that you should be mindful of when you're playing Valorant is the server that you're playing on. So if you look in the lobby, there are these three dots that show you different servers and this will show you all of the different servers available. As you can see, my ping to Mumbai is 20, Singapore is 77, Hong Kong 105, Tokyo 152, and then so on and so forth. What you're going to do is that you're going to make sure that you check the server that is the closest to you. And that is what the game is going to use moving forward. Just make sure whatever server you're getting the best ping to, you're playing on that. Preferences aren't guaranteed as Valorant itself says, but uh, it should give you a better chance of having a lower ping once you get into the game. Last but not least, um, this isn't probably going to do much, but uh, if you're having problems with a game or an app or a program, you should always try reinstalling it as sort of a last resort before you turn to the wider internet or you start complaining. Uh, what we're going to do is right click on the Windows Start menu icon and head over to Installed Apps. We'll give this a second to load and now we're just going to search for Valorant. So here is the Valorant game. Uh, go all the way to the other end. You will see these three dots. Click on them. Click on install. Windows will tell you that you're doing something horribly wrong. We're going to ignore it and we're going to click on uninstall. Once the game uninstalls completely, what you're going to do is that you're going to head back to Riot's original website, official website, original website, whatever you want to call it, and then download the latest version of the Riot launcher from there. Then use it to install the latest version of Valorant in turn. This just makes sure that you get your game going from scratch so any problems from any old system files or generated files doesn't cause any problems. If you like these videos, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram and Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.